Hello dear friends. In my previous lecture we were discussing on the story of the dread departure a drama by Sati Jalikar. As you know there are three major characters. One is Bhavrao, second is Rama and third one is Nana. At the beginning of the drama we see Bhavra is dead. He is trying to convince his wife Rama that he is dead and now you have to leave without him and in support with Nana. So this is the situation <coughs> after the death of Bharao in his family. Bharao is a, in a disguise of hymn singer that is Kirtankar and trying to convince to his wife about his death. He now addresses the public and his words are, I quote, when a tree falls, it is dead and over. It is a natural happening in the nature. When a tree falls, it is dead and over. When a man dies, he must be given his last rites. That is last <clears throat> rituals to be performed after the death of a particular person. His corpse must be consumed by fire. Then only he is released. Means the soul is released. Actually this is... Uh, uh, doctrine in our uh, Hindu culture that there is a soul in our body and uh, if you want that the soul to be resting to peace you have to perform some rituals after the death of a person he further says that I did not want to die, but a sudden attack of high blood pressure accounted for me. Means there is a severe heart attack with Bhara and that's why he did in his sleep. When she will come to know this, she will screech, then bellow, scream and faint. Here Bhaura further says that when his wife Rama will come to know about his death, she will screech, that is scream loudly, then below, then scream and then faint. The neighbors would recover her by applying onion to her nose. She would faint again. Neighbors will take care of her. She is the fairest among the neighbors and they visit my house in my absence under one pretext or other. So all these things are going on in the mind of Bhaurav and he addresses these things to the audience on the stage. Now they are far. I can see her, her hair unplated. Rama is there on the stage and seen in a white sari, full of kumkum on forehead eating an apple. At this critical comment, I remember Nana, my only son, 
a good sportsman who has gone somewhere to play prisoner's base he has gone somewhere when actually the incident is happened in the play he was not in the house he has gone somewhere to play sports prisoner's base in marathi ata atya patya you might have uh, played many times this kind of a game in your childhood nana is a bright boy from childhood i believe he has taken after me and rama feels that he is after her both of them trying to say that he is a like bahara and rama says he is like she herself i believe he has taken after me and rama feels that he is after her the issue is still unresolved my final rites cannot be performed until he returns so i will conclude this section with a memory of his childhood here he remembers all his uh, childhood days that is nana's childhood days how he nourished nana in his childhood he remembered here while speaking with the audience from childhood nana is pigheaded he further says that obstinate nana is very obstinate boy and would have his way in the ramayana rama demanded the moon and his mother showed him its reflection in the mirror there is a reference of ramayana here he remembers the reference of ramayana that rama demanded the moon to his mother and mother showed a reflection of moon in the mirror to rama ramayana was possible because rama was satisfied by this rama himself is a very good boy and it is possible only with rama that he is satisfied after seeing the image of moon in the mirror the mother of ashwatthama gave given water flory when he remembered or demanded milk there is a reference of mahabharat ashwatthama once he was very angry and demanded milk to his mother but ashwatthama's mother mixed flour in the water and gave it to ashwatthama the mother thus fooled their children we did the same when nana demanded an apricot one famine year he had never seen a apricot i brought him a lovely date and fooled him let me close this section with this story panduranga panduranga he is speaking before the audience like a kirtan when the kirtankar generally speak with some examples 
he tries to prove his point by giving many examples in ramayana and mahabharat in the same way here bauro tries to convince the audience by giving many examples in mahabharata and ramayana for his obstinate son nana and his childhood deeds so this is the way bauro tries to explore himself and his son nana and interrelations between both of them we will see remaining part of the story afterwards in my next video till then thank you